Screen reader users, today we're going to help you with how to create a Gmail account. So many of you may want to create your own email accounts, of course, because we need to keep connected and get stuff done like that. But you may be a little confused about how to create your Gmail, your own Gmail accounts without the assistance of anyone. You can do that with your screen reader. And that's what we're going to help you with. Of course, we are using NVDA, but you can also, this is also comparable with JAWS and perhaps Narrator that you use on the Windows computer. Good. So I have already opened Chrome, my web browser of choice, and I have gone to the web address gmail.com. If you want tips on how to get this far, open a Chrome browser and to learn how to navigate to different web pages. There's a video that we already did entitled, How Do Blind People Use the Internet? You can go and check that video out to assist you in learning how to get this far. All right, so I'm already at gmail.com. Let's just, and we're at the top of the page. I'm gonna down arrow to see what we need to have. It says Gmail at the top here, going down. Link for work, link sign in. Clickable button collapse, create an account. And this one says, so let me up our back. Link sign in. It says link sign in. So if you already had a Gmail account, you could have clicked on this sign in link. Of course, let me just explain. When you go to gmail.com, it depends. The page that you get may vary depending on the computer that you, the machine that you're using. For this, I'm using an incognito window so it took me to the page as if I've never really visited Gmail before so if you if that's a new machine maybe it's a new Chrome window you're opening then or opening Chrome for the first time on that machine then you will get a page like this when you go to gmail.com other times you may go to a page that has a listing of all the Gmail accounts that have already been signed in on that machine if you do want to create an account you will just down arrow to the same create an account button that we're going to use now and yeah those are the two pages you will get all right either one looking like this or another one having a list of email address already signed in and on that page you would have to down arrow until you get to the create an account button much like what we're going to use now um so let me down arrow past signing because we're actually trying to create one so don't clickable button collapse create an account it says button collapsed, create an account, which means that you can enter on the button and it will expand some options. Pressing enter. Expanded. Expanded. Right. Pressing down to hear the options. Link for my personal use. For my personal use or. Link for my work or business. For my work or business. All right. Let me go back up to personal because many of you obviously will be creating Gmail accounts for your personal use. Link for my personal use. So pressing enter on that one. Create your Google first name edit blank. Right, and it immediately took us to another page and it automatically activated NVDA's focus mode. Did you hear the sound, the camera click sound? That means that it automatically activated NVDA's focus mode, which means that now we can actually type into the edit field here entitled first name, all right? I'm gonna, you know, just gonna be using BAT for blind accessibility tips as the first name. So let's go with that here. BAT. And because it's a form and forms mode is already active, you can just tab to the next form field and fill in the information as well. So after typing BAT here in the first name forms field, I'm going to tab. Last name optional, edit blank. And this says optional, last name optional. So I suppose you can type it in or not. Uh, I am going to type it in. I'm going to use training. T R A I N I N G. So that's training. Let me up R to see if it will read. Training. Right. It tells me that the word inside this particular edit field is training. Let me just tap again to the next option, next thing to be done. Next button. And it deactivated the forms mode, which is why you heard a little sound a while ago because it came out of the edit fields and now we're focused on the next button, which is what we want. So I'm gonna press enter on this. If you're a true fan, then you need to hit like and share. Tap that like button and share this video. Your support helps us grow. Let's make it happen. Thanks for watching.
right i'm hearing nothing but the page has switched so let me up arrow to get to the top of the Link page one. to find out what exactly this one, information, information is right you could have of, of course used your control home to get to the very top of this page in one go anyway it says what's the title heading level one basic information basic information all right let's go down arrow enter your birthday and gender enter your birth name and gender down month, month. combo box collapsed combo box collapse it's a combo box we have to go in order to fill it up we have to put nvidia back into forms mode so right here that we're on the combo box press enter to activate it month combo box collapsed and if you heard the camera click that means forms mode is already active again and if we are to down arrow here the months for this section let me see down arrow january january february so let's go with january january okay so up our back to january now tab to the next form field day edit blank day um and it says edit realize this is not a combo box so you can't down arrow to find options here it says edit which means we type um let's go with one january one 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 character is remaining and gonna tab away to the next form field your edit blank four characters maximum yes your edit also says edit which means we have to type and it told us four characters maximum let's go with the year 2000 so i'm gonna put two, two three zero 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 maximum of four characters entered all right now let's tab again gender combo box collapsed and it says gender obviously because this is a personal account you would actually put in your correct um birth date and your correct gender um for this let's see female female let's work with the female and tab again why we ask for birthday and gender link so if you were to enter on this link you would go to a page where google explains why they're asking for this kind of information anyway we're going to tab away next button and now we're at the next button enter on this because we want to continue creating our gmail account blank again we're on a page that made no sound let's get to the Create top your, heading level one choose your gmail address choose your gmail address so we're on that page now where you're gonna choose what kind of gmail address you want so you've already given your name you've given your information date of birth and so on now you're on the page where you're gonna choose what you want to use as your username meaning at gmail.com what you want to go with at gmail.com to create your email address let's down arrow pick a gmail address or create your own pick one or create your own let's down arrow radio button not checked radio button not checked it says but let me see what option this radio button pertains to at rating 61 at gmail.com at oh right and let me see if there are any other options so i'm going to continue down radio button not checked this is the second radial button to tell us the second option down training at 662 at gmail.com oh that one has 662 let me down again is there any other option radio button not checked create your own gmail address okay so you could have actually created your own gmail address here um i'm gonna go back up to the first option radio button training at 600 radio button at raining 61 at gmail.com let me go back up to radio button check and now i've up and i realize the check box for or the radial button for that first option has indeed been checked let's go let me just go back up to make sure you hear it let me go back up once pick a gmail address or create your own right that's the heading there let me down arrow radio button check notice this radial button says checked and it pertains to this option down at rating 61 at gmail.com right that's what that's the one bhe train is 61 at gmail.com so we're done we selected this one i am just going to radio button not continue checked. down training to find the next button radio button not checked create your own gmail address of course if you wanted to create your own gmail account meaning your own username then you could have radio button not checked selected this one and it would have given you an edit field in which you in which you could have typed the email address or username that you want and so on but let's continue to next create your own gmail address button next next button busy password edit protected blank okay password and gmail usually has some stipulations for the password but it has already activated nvda's forms mode for us to just type the password right um but i want to deactivate it because pressing up arrow let me press it blank just blank pressing down arrow 
blank. Blank. Because when you're in forms mode, you're not your focus mode you are not able to move away from the edit field to hear the information that is around it so i'm going to deactivate it just for you to be able to hear what is above this because there should be some stipulations as to what the password should be so let me escape hear that sound that means focus mode or forms mode has been deactivated so i'm going to go back up the top of the page heading level one create a strong password Create a strong password. Down arrow to read. Create a strong password with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So they're telling it has to be with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols, right? Password edit protected. Password edit. That is where we would type the password. Let me down arrow here. Anything else? Confirm edit protected. Okay, so we'd have to confirm. So let me go back up. Password edit protected. Let's reactivate this field to type in the password. Pressing enter. Forms mode is back on. I'm just going to type a password. Let's see. Start. 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 All right. T let's tap to the next edit field. Confirm edit protected blank. It says confirm. Gonna, you have to retype the same password. Password You just input it above. Start. 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 Tab again. Show password checkbox not checked. If you wanted the password, if you wanted to be able to hear the letters that you're pressing, then you could actually press a space bar on this particular option and then shift tab back into the fields above and you'd be able to hear the letters as usual to check your spelling to make sure you know that you really have inputted the password that you want, right? And that might be important for some of you. All right, but I'm going to move on here. Tab. Next button. Next, enter on it. Blank. Gmail. Phone number edit blank. And now we're on a page where it's asking us for a phone number. Google wants to ensure that your Gmail accounts are as secure as possible, so they connect it to a phone number. And so you would put in your phone number here and move on. Hold up. Got a second? You're about to miss out on the most important lessons. Hit subscribe now and gain valuable insights. Don't wait. Click that button. Okay, after inputting a phone number and Google sending a verification, phone, a verification code to that phone and you inputting that verification code into the edit field, you would tap to next button and hit enter. Now I'm on the other page where it's asking me for a backup email address and I'm just going to type that. So after inputting an email address as... Um, a secondary email address for this particular account now i'm on the page where google is asking me to agree to their terms and conditions you can just if you're at the top of the page you can just press b twice to navigate by buttons and upon pressing it the second time you will get to the button that says i agree press enter on it and now we're on the page where we see that our google account or Google Gmail account has been created. And that is it. That is how you create a Gmail account. Okay, here is hoping that lesson was useful. Remember, you can also find us at blindaccessibilitytips.com. There you can find free lessons teaching blind and visually impaired persons how to navigate and use their Windows computers and iPhones. Also, next on YouTube here, we will be continuing our series on Gmail and we will be showing you how to compose and send emails through Gmail. See you then.